This is a video of Guru setting up thousands of trajectories in SAIC's Avatar Trajectory Simulation software in minutes, submitting them to the Mustang Supercomputer Q and post-processing them for the user. You're looking at the Guru interface running in the HPC portal at the Air Force's premier supercomputing facility, AFRL DSRC. You can drive Guru from your laptop by point and click which is what you're watching here. You can also tap and swipe through a Guru session, and you can also drive Guru by voice. The user is clicking into a new Guru session. You see several options for types of modeling and simulation. In this session, we're selecting trajectories. We're selecting an adversary hypersonic glide vehicle and the number of boost stages. Rather than opening up a text editor to manually type all the settings in a configuration file yourself, Guru does that for the user. Next, we select the launch point and the destination. You can select city names, click in the globe view interactively, or enter GPS coordinates. Now the user is selecting maneuvers to include in the simulated flight. The interactive spider chart input you see here presents the user with only the variables they request. Everything else is set by Guru. You can select durations and accelerations interactively, or if you already have settings you'd like to run, you can import those in a CSV file. The user in this case has selected to not just run a single simulation, but to run a couple of thousand variations around the baseline settings just entered. And that's it. Guru takes over the rest, setting up thousands of configuration files, preparing the ensemble compute job, submitting it to the queue, in this case, to the Mustang supercomputer. And when the simulations are finished, Guru presents the set of trajectories in the cluster view you see at the top left. The user can select clustering by a variety of flight variables like Mach number, maneuver angles, accelerations. As the user selects subsets of trajectories, Guru plots, 3D range plots, and full flight paths in the globe view. And the user can select individual trajectories, plot reduced data, and 2D views of altitude versus ground range, altitude versus Mach, flight angles, and accelerations versus time. We've just demonstrated setting up thousands of trajectory simulations, an entire threat space for an adversarial hypersonic glide weapon running and post-processing them with our autonomous system, Guru. End users tell us setting up a hundred of these trajectories takes a week when they do it manually. Engineers tell us it takes hours to set up CAD models and CFD simulations. We've trained Guru to set those up too. We think that this brand new level of autonomy, aiding engineers, analysts, and operators, is the future of supercomputing, and we're proud to be demonstrating it at AFRL DSRC.